Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and remove slides as well as bring in slides from Word documents as well as another presentation. Let's get started. So I have a presentation open here and the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to insert a new slide. The way that you do that is you go to the Home tab, Slides group, and you click this button right here, New Slide. When you click that button, it's going to insert a slide with the title and content layout. The title and content layout is the default layout for PowerPoint, and so that basically will give you a new slide with a title area and then an area for content as well. You could actually choose the layout that you want within PowerPoint as well, but you have to do it a little bit differently. You go to the Home tab, Slides group, and instead of clicking this New Slide button right up here, you go right below it where it says New Slide Arrow, and you click on the New Slide Arrow, and now I can choose any content that I want, So, or rather any layout that I want. I'm going to choose this one right here, to content, and you'll see the difference. Basically it's created with a title and two areas for content. Now let's take a look at some of the other areas that we could, or other layouts that we could choose. If I go to the new slide arrow, you'll now see that I have the title slide. This one is good for titles, usually at the beginning of your presentation. You also have section headers, which is good for transitioning to a new section in your presentation. Uh, comparison, which is usually good for comparing two different items. Title only, which is very good for adding a title and then adding your own content below. Sometimes you may want a blank slide, which is right here, and there's a blank slide, and that you can pretty much edit how you want. Over here, you have content with caption, and that will have your title smaller and small text with a large caption area to the right. And then finally, picture with caption, which will have a large picture, a title, and uh, subtitle text. Keep in mind that these layouts do change based off of the template that you choose at the beginning of the presentation. Alright, so now we see that we now have 10 slides. I can tell because each slide is numbered along the left side in the left uh, slide navigation pane. And as I scroll up or down in this area, I could view all of my slides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to delete a slide. If I say I don't want this one anymore, which is slide number 3, Okay. Uh, if I click on it, it'll have an orange border around it. The orange border tells you that that's the slide you're currently looking at. And then I can either press the delete key on my keyboard, or I could right click and go to delete slide. Either one works. And so you'll press that, and you'll now see that the numbers are reordered, 1 through 9. Okay, so now what we're going to do is whenever we have a large presentation and I want to move or delete multiple items at once, I want to change the current view that I'm in. If I had 100 slides, it'd be really difficult to delete a large section without scrolling along this left side pane for a really long time. So instead, we're changing our view. So let's go to the View tab. Over here in the Presentation Views group, you, get, you could see that there are different uh, types of views that we could choose, and I'm going to choose Slide Sorter View. Slide Sorter View gives you thumbnails of all of the different slides in your presentation. Now let's say I want to delete slides 5, 6, 7, and 8. You could click on them individually and pressing delete each time, or what you could do is select multiple slides at once. To select multiple slides at once in uh, PowerPoint, all you have to do is click on the first slide that you want, in this case slide 5, and then hold down the shift button on your keyboard, and then click on slide 8. That'll select slides 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay? To deselect any slides, you could just select a different slide. Okay? I'm going to show you one other thing when it comes to selecting slides, and that's going to be the difference between holding shift and holding control. If I select, sh uh, uh, if I select slide 5, and then I hold down the control button on my keyboard, and I click on slide 8, Notice that only slides 5 and 8 are selected, not 6 and 7. So again, to select non-adjacent slides, you're going to hold down Control. To select uh, a range of slides, you're going to hold down Shift. So again, holding Control will select just 5 and 8, but if I click on 5, hold down Shift, and click on 8, it selects 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, what, selecting multiple slides is really useful for uh, doing bulk actions, and so in this case I'm going to delete all four slides by pressing delete on my keyboard. And now you'll see that my presentation is down to slide or five slides. 
Now what I'm going to show you how to do is insert slides from a Word document. So I'm going to minimize PowerPoint right now and I'm going to open up this Word document right here. And you'll see that on this Word document we have a heading 1 for service project goals and then heading 2 and these are styles right up here for all of the bullets within it. So basically when we uh, convert to PowerPoint it's going to take these uh, this text and it's going to say heading 1 should be a title and heading 2 would be a subtitle and it follows this process all the way down through our Word document. So if you ever have anything in Word it's easy to import it into PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing to note is that you have to close Word before doing this. The file cannot be open if you're trying to import it from Word. So I'll close that, I'll open up PowerPoint and now I have to choose where I want the import to go. Remember, slides when they're added in always go after the uh, slide that's currently selected. So I'm currently in slide 5. That means that when I import the text from Word, it's going to appear after slide 5. So now it's time to uh, handle this import. So let's go to the Home tab and let's go to the Slides group and let's click the new slide arrow. After you click the new slide arrow, you may have noticed that at the bottom there's three more options. And I'm going to choose right here that says Slides from Outline. And I click on that. That's going to open up a dialog box and then you navigate to where your file is at. In my case, I put the files on my desktop and I put it right here on Import from Word. I could double click it and when I double click it, it's going to add in all of the text from Word onto the different slides. So there we go. It's a very easy way to import uh, information from Word onto uh, a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, And so that's one way to do it. Now I'm going to show you another way to import information onto a new presentation. And this one is based off of a PowerPoint presentation. Let's say that I like some of the slides from this PowerPoint presentation here. Okay, I call this PowerPoint the Reuse Slides Presentation. And I want to bring some of the slides, or even just one of the slides, onto my current presentation. A lot of people will copy and paste, but that's not really the most effective way to do it because it'll copy and paste the formatting as well. I want this to flow with my presentation really well, so I'm going to reuse these slides on my current presentation. So the first thing is just like in Word, you have to make sure that the presentation in which you're importing from is closed. So I'm going to close out of reuse slides presentation and I'm going to open back up my previous presentation. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new slide after slide one. So I know that when I reuse slides or import slides or even create new ones it goes after the current selected slide. So this will be a new slide two. And so now I'm going to go to the home tab, slides group, and I'm going to click the new slide arrow and then right below the slides from outline button there's one more button called reuse slides and so click on reuse slides and you'll see that a reuse slides dialog box will pop up on the right side this is where we could choose our file so I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to choose browse file this is where I choose the file from I saved mine on my desktop and I know it's called reuse slides presentation so I'll go ahead and click on that and then click open and you'll see that those slides that were on that previous presentation are now listed right over here. Now one of the cool things that we could do is we could basically add these slides directly onto our presentation. Notice the gray background over here. If I have slide one selected and I go over here and I click on the first slide in the reuse slides pane, watch what happens. It's going to add it over here. Now you'll no notice that there's a chart or I guess a flow chart over here on the right side but it's not displaying over here on slide two. I don't know why that is. If I double click on slide 2 to go to it, you'll see that it's there. And then if I go back to reuse slides pane, or sorry, the uh, slide sorter, you'll see now it's, it's showing. It must just be a glitch within PowerPoint, but it is there, but I do like to double check. So notice that when it was uh, import in, it kept my background. Okay, and it kept the overall look of the presentation. This is one of the benefits of uh, using the reuse slides pane. Now I could go over here and choose any other slides that I'm interested in just by clicking on them. However, I'm not going to do that. If you did want to keep the source formatting, meaning the gray background and the style of this presentation, then you would click this checkbox for keep source formatting. 
okay and then you would see that it would keep that source formatting uh, gray background okay all right so that's how we use the reuse slides pane I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that pane and then let's take a look at our presentation and so let's say I wanted another copy of this project process and I'm going to right click it and I could go to duplicate slide and right there I click on that and it's gonna create a duplicate now to go into my normal view to view this I could just double click it and now I see that I'm on slide 3 and we now have the duplicate alright so let's say that I wanted to keep notice that they are this they're the same here slides 2 and slides 3 if I wanted to use slide 2 as kind of a, a template that I don't really want the presentation to show but I just I kinda like this flowchart and I could use it for other parts of my presentation I may want to hide this slide and to hide a slide all you have to do is go to the slideshow tab go to the setup group and go right here to hide slide and this will hide the current slide so that it won't appear when you're presenting and take a look at the thumbnail after I click hide slide and you'll notice it grays out just a little bit that lets you know that it's still here so you can still use it however it won't show up in your presentation to show the slide again you just click the hide slide button again and it'll reappear okay and so that's how you do that alright let's go down to slide 8 slide 8 is right here and I just wanted to uh, let you all know that if you press backspace as well it will also delete a slide so you could right click and go to delete slide you could press the delete key or you could press the backspace key okay keep in mind that you have to click on the actual thumbnail for that to work so hopefully this video has taught you uh, a lot more about uh, inserting in new slides either from a word document or from another PowerPoint presentation or even within the current presentation if this video is been helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day